There's a reason why People magazine dubbed him the sexiest beast charmer alive. And hundreds of thousands of Instagram followers seem to agree. ABC's Nick Watt takes us into his world for our series, Social Stars. So we are scrubbed up here. He smolders behind that mask. Muscles ripple beneath the scrubs. He's saving a bunny rabbit's life. Grab me some lidocaine. I'm not going to show you his face just yet. First, what do colleagues have to say about Dr. Evan Anton, Instagram Adonis, viral veterinarian? One person shouldn't be that good looking. It's not fair for the rest of us. Did you find yourself sort of staring at him? You just get used to it. <laughs> but at first, a little bit. And parents of the pets he treats? My pet's happy, I'm happy. When I see him, he's easy on the eyes. How many hot guys do you see on the street every day and then having him be your vet? <laughs> has an owner ever said to you, you know what, you're just a chip and tail pretending to be yeah. a vet. Yeah, no, it has. It has. It has, yeah. You know, they're like, you know, I don't, this guy, he's just, he, you know, he looks like he's a model or something. I want a real doctor. No, he doesn't look like a real guy. No, he doesn't. So I question it sometimes, but... He it looks like he just plays a vet on TV. I know. He is McDreamy, vintage Clooney, Dr. Drake Ramore. Is it serious? All in one. For real. And here he is, in all his glory. An exotic pet specialist, People Magazine's sexiest beast charmer alive, closing in on 300,000 Instagram followers. Like, refresh my phone, and it'd be like a few more hundred, a few thousand, like every you know, couple minutes. It was crazy. Posts like this, this, and this. Ooh, exotic. Comments like this. If he's a vet, I'm an animal. This guy is literally perfection. Found my husband. Uh, Marriage proposals? Uh, yeah, we've got a few of those. <laughs> but the 31-year-old dreamboat is, I'm afraid, engaged to be married and not to someone who stalked him on Instagram. OK, let's break this down. Why has his social media star ascended so? If you were an ugly veterinarian, this would not have happened. I don't know, whatever. I mean, we see such cool stuff, maybe not. Dr. Evans started working here at the Caneo Valley Veterinary Hospital in California three years ago. Everybody I meet, everybody I know, wants to know if I work at that vet clinic with that hot doctor. I started in about a year or so into practice, maybe six months, um, and just started posting neat cases and show neat animals, and we see so many cool things here. But then people started saying, I don't care about the snake, I want to look at the dreamy doctor. That happens sometimes too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and what does your day look like? When do you get up? When do you work? You look like you go to the gym. <laughs> Thank you. So getting to the gym is something I like to do on a daily basis. Get out there and just get, get some training in. He does. Every day. Two hours a day if he's not too busy saving animals' lives. He paid his way through vet school as a fitness trainer on the side. I'm beginning to hate this guy. I hear he's also a nice guy. He is, which is his saving grace. I, but it kind of, it's kind of irritating when a really good looking person is also nice. Because it's like, can't you just be mean so I can at least hate you for that? Sometimes all it takes to succeed on social media is a pretty face and a rock hard body. Like Instagram megastar Brock O'Hearn, who we've profiled before. Do you have a girlfriend? I don't actually, know. But with Dr. Evan, Say hello, there's more. You look at his Instagram, he posts a video of a baby, and I'm like, okay, guy, animals, and babies. I mean, every girl is just, like, drooling. Part of the appeal, as with any social media star, is genuine passion. Uh, yeah. This is not an act. No, I don't think you're going to go through this much school and, <laughs> no. and this much work. I mean, trust me, it's a lot of work. You can't fake that you're enjoying extracting a stinking compacted egg from inside a macaws. You know what? This is basically called the vent. There must be something wrong with it. Her temper, flatulence, uh, late, uh, bad breath. Slow to surgery. Apparently you're not that great at timekeeping. <laughs> Is that right? Is that what they said? So, I mean, I'm trying to find the Achilles heel. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. Okay. When he first started working here, before he would go into an exam room, he would, like, he'd stand in front of the door, do this, straighten his scrubs, put on his smile, and then walk in. <laughs> and it was very entertaining. <laughs> Don't tell him I told you that. Another dumb question. Are any of the animals grateful. I think animals can be grateful. I had a bird come in, it had like a fish hook stuck in its beak, or it's like an immediate fix and they can make an association to it. It's all about the association with pets. Twinkie is about to go under Dr. Evans' knife. 
<laughs> good luck, Twinkie. Dr. Evan will take very good care of you. Very good care. <laughs> you don't care that Dr. Evan's pretty good looking, but he is. Oh, she does. <laughs> Look at that face. She's happy. <laughs> My wife says she needs to take our dog in for a checkup. Hang on. We don't even have a dog. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline, Thousand Oaks, California.